Hello everyone! I'm Mamsi and welcome back to my channel! Para sa video ito ay pag-uusapan o tatalakayin natin ang Visualizing Decimals and Renaming Decimals to Fractions and Fractions to Decimals para sa Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 7. Tara at simulan na natin! Before we proceed our lesson, let us identify first what decimals are. Decimals are numbers that names a whole quantity and or a fractional part. Decimals are used to represent numbers that are not whole. Decimals are written with a decimal point. Here are examples. Five tenths. 25 hundredths, 8 tenths, and 52 hundredths. Mmm, let's think about this. How do we visualize decimal numbers? How do we show the relationship of decimals to fraction? Aha! We can visualize decimal numbers using models like Blocks, grid, number lines, and money to show relationship to fractions. In visualizing decimal numbers using blocks, here is the example. 7 tenths. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 10 blocks to represent the whole or one. Then, magko-cross out tayo ng 7 blocks. Ibig sabihin, nagtanggal tayo ng 7 blocks out of 10. The illustration will represent now, or we can write it now as 7 out of 10 as a fraction or 7 tenths in decimals. Another example is 7 hundredths. Now, pwede natin itong i-visualize using grid. Kung inyong mapapansin, ang buong grid ay equally divided into 100 squares. Ngayon, maglalagay tayo ng 7 shaded squares. Ang illustration now ay nagpapakita na there are 7 shaded squares out of 100 squares. Pwede na natin itong isulat as 7 hundreds in fraction or 7 hundreds in decimal. Another example is 4 tenths. Pwede natin itong i-visualize sa gamit ang number lines. Kung inyong mapapansin sa number line, nilagyan na natin ito ng fractions from 1 tenths to 10 tenths. Na kung saan yung 10 tenths ay magre-represent as 1 or whole. Ngayon, para ma-visualize natin yung 4 tenths, maglalagay muna tayo ng 10 fences or bakod. Now, magkukulay tayo ng apat na fences. So, itong apat na fences na ito ang magre-represent sa 4 tenths as a fraction or 4 tenths in decimal. Another example is 50 hundredths. We can visualize it using money. So, suppose meron tayong piso. Ang piso ay merong equivalent na 100 centavos. So, para ma-visualize natin ang example na babasahin na natin as 
50 centavos, since we are talking about money, kukuha tayo or kukunin natin ang dalawang 25 centavos na pwede natin isulat in fraction as 50 out of 100 centavos or in decimal or in centavo, ganito natin siya isusulat. Ayan. Tapos na nating talahayin ang visualizing decimals. Proceed na tayo sa next topic. But, oh, how do we write or rename decimal numbers into fractions without using models? Aha! We can write or rename a decimal number to a fraction by writing it as a fraction with 10 or 100 as a denominator. Our next topic is renaming decimal numbers to fractions. Example number one, write six tenths in fraction. Para magawa natin ito, sundin lamang po ang steps na ito. One. Move the decimal point going to the right to make it whole number. Then, write it as the numerator. So, isulat natin dito yung given na 6 tenths. Simula sa may decimal point, mag-move daw tayo pa kanan. So, move tayo ng 1. So, isusulat na natin ang 6 as the numerator. Then, step 2, write 10 as the denominator. Isulat natin ang 10 as the denominator of 6. Ngayon, bakit 10 ang isinulat natin as the denominator? Kasi, ang 6 ay nasa 10th place ng decimal. Na kung ating babalikan ang tinalakay natin visualizing decimal, ibig sabihin nito ay, 6 out of 10. Next step is reduce the fraction to lowest term if needed. So, ang 6 tenth ba ay nasa lowest term na? No, hindi pa. So, i-reduce natin ito. So, hanapin natin ang GCF ng 6 ang 10 which is 2. So, let's divide. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, ang 6 tenths ay rinib natin sa fraction as 6 tenths or 3 fifths. Another example is 3 tenths. Same steps lang din. So, mag-move tayo simula sa decimal point pa kanan. So, 1. Ang 3 ang magiging numerator. And step 2, isusulat natin ang 10 as the denominator. Ngayon, ang 3 tenths ba ay nasa lowest term na? Tama, nasa lowest term na. So, no need na mag-reduce. Example number 2, write 25 hundredths in fraction. Same steps, move the decimal point going to the right to make it whole number. Then, write it as the numerator. So, isulat natin yung given. Simula sa decimal point ay mag-move tayo pa kanan. 1, 2. Then, 25 ang ating magiging numerator. Write 100 as the denominator. Bakit? Dahil dalawang beses tayo nag-move at ang 5 ay nasa hundreds place value. Then, reduce the fraction to lowest term if needed. Since ang 25 hundreds ay hindi pa nasa lowest term, I-re-reduce natin ito. Ang GCF ng 25 at 100 ay 25. So, 
25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Therefore, ang 25 renamed natin to fraction as 25 hundredths or 1 fourth. Another example is 19 hundredths. So, move tayo simula sa decimal point pa kanan. 1, 2. So, 19 ang ating numerator at 100 ang denominator. Ang 19 hundredths ay nasa lowest term na kaya no need na natin itong i-reduce. Next is renaming fractions to decimal numbers. Example, write 21 hundredths in decimal form. Para magawa natin ito, sundin lamang ang steps na ito. Move the decimal point of numerator and denominator going to the left. So, isulat natin ang fraction. So, magsisimula tayong mag-move sa denominator. So, since mayroong dalawang zero ang 100, dalawang beses tayo mag-move. 1, 2. So, natira ay 1. So, denominator natin ay 1. Next is the numerator. Kung ilang beses kang nag-move sa denominator, yun din ang bilang ng pag-move mo sa numerator. So, we have 1, 2. Then, step 2, add 0 and decimal point before the number in numerator. So, ang magiging numerator natin ay 0 0.21. Renave natin ito as 0 0.21. Therefore, 21 hundredths renave natin sa decimal magiging 0 0.21 or 21 hundredths. Example number 2, write 420 in decimal form. Kung inyong mapapansin, ang given fraction natin ay hindi 10 or 100 ang denominator. So, para marename ito, sundin lamang ang steps na to. Find the other factor of the denominator to get a product of 10 or 100. So, para mahanap natin ang perfect pair of factors, sundin lamang ang table na ito na kung saan makikita pairs of factors which give you a product of 10 or 100. So, since ang denominator natin ay 20 na, hahanapin natin yung kapartner niya. So, here it is. Ang 5 times 20 is 100. So, ang kukunin nating factor na pair ng 20 ay ang 5. Step 2, multiply this factor to the numerator and denominator. So, imamultiply natin ang 5 sa numerator and denominator. So, here it is. Then, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 5 is 100. Then, since 100 na ang ating denominator, proceed tayo sa step 3 which is move 1 or 2 places going to the left. Add 0 and decimal point before the number in numerator. So, katulad kanina, move tayo. 1, 2. 100 ay naging 1. And sa numerator, same then 1, 2. Then, add 0 and decimal point before the number in numerator. So, ang numerator na natin ngayon ay 0.20. Then, cancel or disregard natin ang 1 sa denominator, kaya magiging 0.20 na lang. Therefore, 4.20 na naging 20 hundreds, renamed to decimal numbers, ay naging 0.20 or 20 hundreds. So, sundin lamang po ang mga steps na nabanggit kanina 
at tiyak na magiging madali para sa iyo ang mag-rename ng fractions to decimal numbers and vice versa. That ends our video for today. Thank you for watching guys and I'm Amzi. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!